The Secretary of State of Arizona has invited reporters here to Mesa to train us like he's been training election workers to spot mis and disinformation that could have a big impact on this upcoming election. Adrian Fontes, a Democrat elected Secretary of State, says it's not a matter of if, but when artificial intelligence will impact U.S. elections. Our day starts with this fake but highly convincing video of the Secretary of State himself. Our goal is to make sure folks understand the capabilities of current deepfake technology and the dangers it poses to the public. A final thought, you can't blindly trust what you see or hear anymore. Especially if something elicits a strong reaction from you, ask yourself this. What is the source? Is this content real? That's not Fontes, but this video is why he's holding these tabletop exercises that mimic realistic scenarios that election officials could face. They threw Scripps News and others in the press into two fast-moving simulations acting as if we were election officials. Our goal? Keep the elections running smoothly. Climate. We are guided by a county administrator, Dana Lewis, as we fortify our hypothetical county from election threats. And just begin. I don't know. We're going to be in crisis mode for the next four hours of our lives. Okay. Did we make it? An early scenario? A mock reporter asking about artificial intelligence that's spreading bad information. I had got a report that uh, a local get out the vote campaign deployed an AI chatbot on the website and it's putting out incorrect information. Um, have you guys been handling this or do you have anything to say about that? I'm definitely feeling the pressure right now. The scenarios come one after another. This is quite the misinformation and disinformation scenario. Do you really have a Dropbox at a strip club? But this would be something that we would want to respond to. And we have the PIO, we have the communication already, so we can debunk this information pretty quickly. There is not a Dropbox at a strip club. We're forced to create an instant plan. I think you have people observing inside. Mm -hmm. So you have bipartisan boards looking at this stuff, the Absolutely. people in the facility. And you just get a statement out, right? You just put up a paper statement. Like, I would not drag the election official out to address something like No, absolutely this. not. Yeah. I think my overall reaction today was that this is kind of terrifying and a lot of this technology can be used in malicious ways and it's not just here in Arizona, it's also this technology is online, that's what makes it so accessible to people, it's easy to use, it doesn't take very long anymore and that means it could be used across any precinct, any voting location across the country. Afterwards, Lewis tells us her takeaways from her own training several months ago. So you guys as a county have plans in place in case there's artificial intelligence interference in your election. I think we need to be ready. I think we need to know that this is coming at us. Fonta says the scenarios that we ran are pretty universal, and in a one-on-one -on -one interview with Scripps News, he offered notes of caution for election offices across the country. Well, we've got to be vigilant. Um, uh, we've got to understand the threat uh, sort of the, uh, the scope of the threats that are out there and the different types of threats that are out there. But in the, most of all, the fundamentals of our, elections is, uh, our election systems are really solid. And so being aware of all of this other stuff is important so that we can deal with it more quickly and more efficiently while not losing focus on the fundamentals. That's the critical component and I think that's the critical takeaway. How do you as an elected official who's a Democrat who went through a very tough election here in Arizona give a nonpartisan and uh, clear message to voters where they will trust you when you're talking about disinformation? Well, I tell them the truth and I distinguish between the two. You know, disinformation as it pertains to a political candidate is sort of that spin and gamesmanship that American politics has kind of always had in one way or another. But if you're getting sensitive about disinformation pertaining to the impact that it has on the voters' ability to vote or their ability to cast their ballot, that's not political. That's anti-American. And I will call that out at any stage. We asked the creator of the Secretary of State's deepfake video about the fast pace this technology is changing. Where do you see this kind of deepfake artificial intelligence technology in six months from now on Election Day? I wake up every morning, my head is spinning. It's moving that fast. 
and I tried to hint at the other aspect of this is the, the enormous scale this is going to happen. I'm showing individual examples here, but the ability to do this at scale is what I think is going to be overwhelming. Liz Landers, Scripps News, Mesa, Arizona.